Carey won the toss and decided to kick to the main scoreboard end here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Brett Allen, Gavin Dorr and Stuart Wynn are our umpires. The 2000th game for the Sydney Swans and Darren Cresswell, 104 consecutive, just getting over the top of Brian McGowan from 1963. Now a chance for the Swans. Colbert got into the action very, very quickly. The kick forward lands at the feet of Carey. Couldn't control it. Goods. Carey applying the physical pressure. The ball at half forward. Shawble taken down by Archer. Now the struggle on across that half forward line. Stafford kicks it away. But the umpire has found a free kick, Kevin, for not moving the ball on quickly enough against the Swans. Yes, and we see the Kangaroos go into attack. And Wayne Carey certainly looked pumped up. So does King. From 45 metres out, here's Kerry. It's got too much carry, and it's through for a behind. He was pumped. Equals a uh, long-serving coaching reign from way back in the early 1900s. So Rodney E, if he can be reappointed for one more year, will be the longest-serving Swans coach in the history of the club. That kick came in from Harris, and it's been marked by McKernan. McKernan is 50 metres from goal. Not without a chance to register the first goal of the game. Corey McKernan. Flag, should I say. Just signifying that there's hardly any breeze at all. And a beautiful kick by McKernan's a goal. Straight through the centre. Uh, at this move, but Dennis Pagan has got Stuart Cochran apparently tagging Wayne Swass. Swass, of course, playing in the half back, but he just gets so many possessions. He is a, a basically a, a midfielder for the Sydney Swans. Much an architect off half back. To Jared Brocker a long way down. Good kick, got the it? kick and then put it into the pocket where Carey was able to get away from his opponent. Then kicks into the goal square. It's a goal. Kicked by King. It will be allowed, I would suggest. So at the moment, Carey is going with Shawble or Shawble with Carey. Not that Duncan picks him up, but he's going over to Rocker. Well, the Kangaroos will have to get to the foot of the pack because uh, they're directing all their play towards Carey. His arm out. It was clever play. He's quick at ground level, but Pickett does it well. You know, I thought he might have been over the line. Look at it's a big transfer of play. Clayton was wonderfully intercepted by O'Loughlin. He's beaten two. They'll set the ball up here wide. Taken by Williams on 50. Big bomb. A Goods. Oh, Got it. Oh, what a star. On the stretch, Adam Goods. It was a very difficult mark. We can see the acute angle. Goods. Straight through the centre. Just trying to tell the umpire that he's kept the ball in and then kicks the half forward. And O'Loughlin is marked beautifully in front of Blakey. Red wants to get back. It'll be a healthy start for O'Loughlin. He kicks and lets himself down back. The free kick is coming back to Stafford. Now the lead is on from O'Loughlin. It's not really the target ball. Presents himself in front. Didn't quite take it. Maxfield has pounced on it. He's kicked the goal. Beautiful goal. Sinclair just couldn't bend down. Good strong play, forcing the ball forward. Harris, Maxfield, the tackler, ferocious, taken away this time. And Stevens goes short. King, great pickup. Now he looks at the umpire and said, That's a free kick. He's going short. And the long arms go up, and it's Lee Colbert. Now I get the feeling tonight they're playing through Lee Colbert a fair bit. I think some of the just 25 metres out, he's on a 45 degree angle. Lee Colbert for the Kangaroos. Great kick. Hammers at home. Left unrewarded. Harvey kicks in the direction of Colbert, but chipping in is Goods. He's been paid the mark. No. Matthews plays on. Kick forward by Colbert. That's his fifth possession to the front of the goal square. Oh, brilliantly knocked away. Oh, it's going to the goal line, and it is a goal. Kick by Kick. Kangaroos by two goals. Chance for the Swans. McPherson has just come off the interchange. Benz can kick a goal. And he's got it. Right before. Pretty entertaining stuff, really. Seven goals so far. We've still got five and a half minutes left. Schwass, the kick smothered by Stevens. Doesn't he do some good work in and under Anthony Stevens? And that has been over a long period of time now. Trying to clear the ball was Williams. Got the handball back out. Chance here for Leo Barry. Barry, the kick just slews a little bit off the side. But fortunately for Darren Cresswell, the players jostling. Now, someone has been... No, I thought he was...
was going to pay a free kick there to the Kangaroos, but Cresswell allowed to kick it forward. Anthony Stevens, oh, dumped to the ground unceremoniously was ball. Williams goes for goal, and I think he's missed. Perry's had an impact as well. Shawball goes short, finds the runner Crouch. Still inside the centre square. Uh, Lachlan, that lead's been ignored. So it's a short transfer of play. Matthews. Oh, Barry. And Barry is loose as well. Now Pickett was closing on him, so he's gone shorter. And he finds Maxfield. So they're just sharing the ball around now. Maxfield with this penetrating kick quickly through the air and finds Stafford. Well, it's good news. This to put the Swans in front. They trail by five points. It's curling back. Right to the line. And off hands and through for a behind. Gains ball. Armat, danger. And he's missed right across the face of goals and through. For They're doing a pretty good job. And Cochran with five possessions for the Kangaroos. The ball all the way down to the oh, half forward great. line. Chance for Armat. Little kick into the path of O'Loughlin. He can gather McCartney. That's a push in the back, wasn't oh, it? I reckon he threw that away. Yes. Oh, that's a shocking push in the back there by McCartney, though. Did he throw the ball away before he got the shove? He definitely threw the ball away. We have a look here. There it is. There's the throw and there's the push. Take your pick. Well, the short Home kick. Down to six. A little more in the favour of Jason Ball, but he can't capitalise. And he kicks a behind. The playmaker to Swash. Can he lift his rating? Looking for Ball. Couldn't take it on the half volley. Clayton wins the ball well. Back to Steven. Stands and delivers. Just pumps the ball back towards the half forward line. Oh. Too much carry for McKernan. Taken by Matthews. Goes wide. Crouch. Couldn't take it on the first grab, but he's given away the free kick as Clayton for a shove. Jason balls at centre half forward. It's a long penetrating kick. Big pack of players. Goods went up before acceptances. Here's a chance. Williams, a goal kicker. Hopefully Wayne will keep his cool. Oh, beautiful. Didn't he read it? Spectacular fashion. Watch was then. Magnificent. And it's Goods from much the same position as Corey McKernan in the first term has hooked the ball and missed off to the left. Also jumps for the spectacular mark a couple of times. If you don't take it, your man's generally on the bottom. I think he may find his niche there across half yep. back because he, he can... He looks yeah, comfortable. Yes, he does. And uh, we know that he can take a big grab. Kicked off the ground that time. That came from Maxfield. And a free kick has been picked out and it's going to Creswell. Well, I think I'd be uh, just a little bemused there too. Uh, Brady Rawlings getting up uh, with the football. And the shot. free kick for Creswell. Good, good long kick. He's gone for distance. He's way, way off target. Out of bounds on the full. Well, he's been such a good midfield player, but in recent times he's had so many other ones uh, up against him in terms of uh, accolades and, you know, particularly Robert Harvey and Nathan Buckley, but he's been a magnificent player for the Sydney Swans. Well played. Max Addington sets it up. Williams should kick a goal. Closes from 30 metres. Bangs it through. Includes star in the first quarter with nine possessions. It's his first this quarter. Look at Archer. Just bounced off his opponent. Taken by... That time Good Stevens Good and playing in front is Grant. Rocker is going to be the target. Carey in front. You know that he's uh, doing a little bit to stir up the Swans fans and it could be Boo Wayne Carey. He's going for his second goal from right on 50. The champ unloads, leaves nothing behind. Rams at home. Hey, Lachlan off for the Swans. Armat straight back on. Harvey. Bit of ground, gives it across to Carey. The kick's going to drop short. Rocker! This goal tonight. Any score will put the Kangaroos in front. And he's kicked a goal. Major part of this first half. Kevin, the, the Swans, they just look a little bit flat to me. They may get a goal here, but it's always a tough challenge coming back from a, uh, a week in Western Australia. Tell you what, Troy Luff's instrumental here. Robbie Armat's kick is not quite what he was looking for. McCartney, Simpson, then in turn Archer, missed his target. Armat again has an opportunity, kicking towards half forward. The Swans, they're just about to swoop on it. The kick goes from Nix, was it? Nix has kicked the goal. Jason Ball off for the Swans, Jude Bolton on, so they're just going for a bit more speed on the forward line by the looks of things. Cochrane. 
loose player out wide, so it's a big transfer of play. Clayton runs hard, so does Barry. Read it well. Yeah, good body work by Barry, just pushing his opponent away from it. Picked up a nice chest mark. Looked to have uh, a bit too much pace then for Clayton as well. McPherson. Schwoss still uh, labouring, five possessions. To Matthews. Some big raps on Matthews from the Sydney Swans. Kicks the ball, measured kick. Down towards O'Loughlin, he's got it. Those long arms on the stretch. Now, I saw Michael O'Loughlin at quarter time standing beside Adam Goods, Jared. And I tell you what, there was nothing between him and sort of roaming around the forward line. He's right on 50, kicked 53 goals last year. It's going right to the line. He's got a goal. The stat that you mentioned before the game, this, uh, Kangaroos only nine and eight goals in the first two games. They certainly have struggled in the second term. Only a couple so far. Yes, and it has been well bottled up also by the Sydney Swans who can do it well on this ground. Stevens, Goods in front. Good defensive play by McCartney. Pounced on that time by Barry. They backtrack and concede ground. Shawble back to Barry, sets it up short and finds Bolton. I like Bolton as a player, Jared. Hits the ball hard. Yeah, he's in an under. Runs game, hard. Just got a hit fair target. kick. Oh, Lachlan! He's got it. Just Seven seconds left. There's that run through the middle, I think, that's been lacking in the Kangaroos game. At the main break, O'Loughlin directly in front from right on 50. The distance, not a worry. The accuracy, magnificent. Rams at home. ...in their forward 50 in the second term, 17 to 8. So here we go. And already, it's uh, Stafford getting the ball down. And Chris important goal uh, by Michael O'Loughlin uh, right on the half-time break and the umpire saw that the way you did Jared Cresswell to Maxfield Maxfield just one kick in the second term that's a beauty isn't it wouldn't you like to be on the end of a Stuart Maxfield kick when he's in the clear well one out in the goal square Michael O'Loughlin just uh, if the kick is relatively accurate he just will not be a beat well he kicked a goal uh, right on the half-time siren from 50 metres at the other end of the ground, he should kick this. Just uh, rather lazily, as if it was a uh, some sort of organised plan there. He's going to get another chance anyway. He's deeper in the pocket, We're looking maybe to give it off. The player on the mark is just inside the forward 50. He tried to uh, overkick it last time, this time he may just pop it up. He's going short, it's all right too. The lead has been... Darren Cresswell for the Swans to strike first in the second half. He does it beautifully. Maybe a standing eight count for the Kangaroos. No knockout blow just yet. Stafford caught, dragged to the ground by Rawlings. Cresswell just fighting hard for the ball. Back to McPherson. The Swans into attack. Deep inside 50. There's a goal coming up. O'Loughlin bangs it through his wing. Wayne Carey inside 50. Big concern. The Kangaroos have only added two goals. Since King will have time. to go in front. The big fist away that came from Adam Goods. Always a sign of strength. McCartney. Pagan's paddock. Through the centre square. Big bomb. Long kick. Carey's got it. Well, we've seen that many times. Man on screen. Wayne Carey as captain. And Wayne Carey kicks his third goal. King gets it away to Simpson. Simpson's little kick. Well, well done by Barry on Smith. Ball left behind there by Schwoss. Forced forward for the Kangaroos down. They've got to get a goal here. They just have to get a goal. Carey gathers, kicks, four goals to the King. So it's take two. Simpson in front should mark. Good grab in front of Saddington, who's been a very good player for the Swans. He's had it 13 times in four marks. Simpson to centre half for there's a free kick. And it goes to Colbert. So Wolf, just a bit too anxious to make that a contest. He'll go short, and Carey marks in front of Dunphy. Now he's right on. As he hooks it badly. He's kicked four goals straight. He's getting the booze. It's Booroo here at the SCG. Carey, can he bend it back? It's coming back right on the line. Now Big Seb's marked. He is marked right on the goal line. He should be right in front. Yep. It's a very old rocker. Straight through the centre. 
Tevin Robbo. Most definitely, Jared. New, yeah. Can you log on? Uh, at this stage, leave me out of that one, Jared. Well, the Kangaroos have got the ball at the half forward line. Clayton was bumped off the ball. Gee, they had uh, brilliantly outnumbered the Kangaroos, did the Swans there. Crouch from Matthews. Arm at Maxfield to kick a goal, won't he? Right. Stuart Maxfield! Oh. you must keep pushing uh, there's six and a half minutes left they trailed by 21 points at one stage in this term and it looked like Sydney might kick away and uh, maybe control this match but the Kangaroos on a couple of occasions have hit back hard now it's the Swans the ball with Kirk he couldn't quite do what he was looking for with the football went in after it again McPherson Nicks oh the ball finishing with Crouch and Crouch will get the goal for the Swans Good play by Sydney. Prevalent, I think, at those centre bounces on the line there, Robbo. Well, he gets rid of his it's opponent just frustration there. frustration because he didn't yep. get one in the, uh, at the boundary throw-in, but there'd be no excuse. Ball, quickly. He spots Shawble. Shawble from 50. Goes for goal. He's got it. Good kick by Andrew Shawble. Down from centre-half back. Playing on Rocker. So now, the Kangaroos under pressure, ball from that centre square out in front, Robbie Armat. Whoever drops Steve, it doesn't, it doesn't figure in a stat, does it? Getting pretty close to the man on the mark, leans back and hammers it home. The kangaroos need to kick this first goal of the opening term. The confidence has to be lifted. Creswell just continues to win the ball. Here's a chance, Armit in front of Pickett. Now he kicked a great goal in that third term. It's a dangerous play. The reaction from behind the goals will tell the story. It's a beautiful kick. It's a magnificent kick. So 10-2 to 14-13. The Swans controlling the game. Matthews, Creswell. Kirk, well done by Kirk. Schwoss into the pocket at the feet of Ball. Nearly gathered. Armat was there. Still Schwoss. Back to Armat. Hand pass by Armat. Chance for Cresswell. It's another goal to the Swans. Great handball. Darren. Still on the bench. They trail by 41 points. This is a problem because they were belted by the Bombers by 80 points and Brisbane by 60. So not good signs for the Kangaroos who have always prided themselves on being very, very oh, competitive. Spotted. And a great kick by Maxfield. Kick Gives it, it across to Stafford. 45 metres out, unloads. Leaves nothing behind and kicks a goal. Four individual goal kickers for the Kangaroos, 11 for the Sydney Swans. King has been a lone hand midfield from 50. Takes him on and kicks a goal. About the Swans is it's so difficult to pick out three players, yep. even if they're to get three, two, and one, who deserve votes in this game. It's been a wonderful, even performance. Creswell pushing down, he'll get another try. Goods is the opportunity he's had. Well, he's kicked one three, according to my record. I remember him in a grand final of the uh, under 18s, and uh, he kicked the cup. He's kicked the goal there, he kicked six in the grand one temporarily <laughs> never again I, I think was there in body but not in spirit yeah. Stafford and the ball lands on the chest of Jason Ball just got a little lost there O'Loughlin and Archer tussling in front of that and allowed Ball to mark on his chest he's pushed it left has he no it's come back he's kicked the goal belts the ball away chance here for Harris the youngster spent a fair bit of time on the bench Tries to spot Clayton chipping in his luck. What a story Troy Luff has been. He's he's been gone more times than he's stayed, <laughs> but he's still here. And he's been a uh, he's played in a grand final. He's been an effective player for the Swans under Rodney Eads' tutelage for uh, many many years now, and he just continues to be of value. Smith comes on for the Kangaroos, so the youngster having a run. Good kick. And Matthews. Got some good raps on Matthews with the Sydney Swans. Had it 16 times and taken six marks. 
I reckon he's one of their big improvers, and there's a good kick. Spots ball. The top five winner, I think, of the best and fairest, or top five place getter, I think, last year, Kev. And Nick's good body pressure got rid of Sinclair, and from 45 metres, Rams at home! All players on the bench will all figure in their best players, wouldn't they, I think? They've all played well tonight. Just under nine minutes left in this last quarter, Bolton. Long arms go up of Stafford. And they've just increased this lead as Stafford kicks their seventh goal for the quarter. And he's second for the team. Good's doing the ruck work. Up against Burton. Swans get the clearance. Mark is taken out here by Makepeace. Gets past his opponent and then uh, kicks in towards full forward. Oh, well done. Oh, oh, oh. That's an indiscretion. Yeah, it might be a report, no, just a 50. 50 metre penalty there for Wayne Carey. It was a double action and pretty late, so a pretty fair decision. I thought uh, early in this match the Swans were struggling with themselves. It's uh, a tough contract, as uh, Dennis Committee would tell you, to come from the west coast of the country. It's a six hour flight back, and there's the 50 metre penalty. But despite that, they're sh sh shaken off the lethargy of the first half and gone on to uh, what's been a magnificent display in the second half. I don't reckon we've seen the end of that either. Ahmed can't take the ball with him. But David King just trying to break away. Well, the, the Kangaroos have, uh, I mean, they've been at their best, of course. I mean, they've been so hard at the ball with numbers and they move it very, very quickly. And, and players, you know, are not trying to sort of hurt himself in terms of uh, just running hard and physical pressure. But... They haven't got that physical pressure tonight against the Sydney Swans, and when you get outnumbered around the ball, there's another goal. Eight get, for the quarter. Get Fosdyke in there. That, uh, Andrew Dunkley had taken the mark. Adam Goods in the ruck. McPherson just fires off the border. Arm at. Over you go. Goods just couldn't quite get good purchase on the ball. Back to Arm at. Plenty of numbers. Goods in the pocket. A centering kick. And Fosdyke! has got it. Jumpers just charging into that forward 50 as Fearless comes through and kicks a goal. Nine for the quarter. 13th goal kicker. Bombers. He's been around, Silver. <laughs> Williams nearly getting away. Maxfield shares it with Cresswell. Cresswell's kicked to the front of the square and it's a mark. This is a big bump doing. No doubt about that. He's going for goal number three off his own boot. And goal 23. Points at three-quarter time. And now lead by, what's that, 80 points. What an amazing game that this has been. Stevens to Swash. Cochran has done his job well tonight for the Chris Kangaroos. Well. Finds Bolton, just enjoying a run. Armat's going off for the Sydney Swans. And Creswell's got it on centre wing. 25 possessions coming up for Darren Creswell. Workman-like performance again. He now is the uh, player holding the most consecutive games for the Sydney Swans. Brian McGowan, way back in uh, 1963, held that uh, <laughs> distinction. Still trying to uh, search for their 24th goal. It may not come. Yes, it could. It could as a result of that. David King in discretion. And doesn't he look disconsolate as a result of that? Well, the short kick has been chopped off by Anthony Stevens. So uh, that probably will be the last passage of play as Anthony Stevens kicks the ball out to the centre wing. And the Swans fans have got something to shout about. But the Kangaroos fans here and watching at home would be extremely disappointed, to say the least. Kangaroos 11-5-71, demoralised in the last turn by Sydney. 80 points in arrears. The Swans 23-13, 150.